Hi, this is Science Ninja Girl here for Standout Education and today we're going to learn how to create a Sway. Open the Sway website, sway.com and log into your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, it is free to join. Now this is what the dashboard will look like once you've logged into the Sway website. Uh, I'm going to create a new Sway today but uh, if you have a Word document, PowerPoint or PDF and you want to convert that into a Sway, you can also start from document and it will input, um, for example, the text from a Word document straight into the Sway without you having to retype or copy and paste that information. So clicking on create new, we'll start opening a Sway. What is a Sway? A Sway is in my head, it's basically a, a website I can create by clicking and dragging things instead of having to know how to code HTML. And you can see here, we've got a range of different things we can add in. So let me start by putting a title in. What do I want my sway to be about? Let's make it about food chains. Now to add content to my sway, all I need to do is choose something from the left here under cards and click and drag. So let's add some images. If you have an image on your computer that you'd like to add, again, all you need to do, click and drag. You don't even need to have added the image card. I can just click and drag it over and it knows it's an image. It'll add it in. If you don't have an image in mind, let's click on add an image here and it will bring up a little search menu where I can search for images. I can also tick this box here to make sure that only images with Creative Commons licenses show up so that I'm not breaking anyone's copyright. And again, just clicking and dragging. So in the past I have used sways as independent learning activities for my students whereby I will prepare the sway and the students will work through it at their own pace. Or I have also used it as uh, getting the students to create their own sways and share them with one another or use it as a sort of summary tool summing up a subject before a test. So let's try and add a video. Again, I can use a video from my computer I can search for a video or I can add one from YouTube. Now, if you do, if the video you want isn't showing up here, oh, here's a nice one. I'll put that one in there. If you do want a specific video from YouTube, it is a little bit trickier than that, but let's go through how to do that together. So I have a crash course YouTube video I want to add and it wasn't showing up in that previous search in Sway. Now for YouTube, click on the share button down the bottom here and embed and we're going to copy that bit of text there. Going back to Sway, we're going to drag over an embed box and paste that text there and that will embed the YouTube video. Now to actually look at what your Sway is going to look like to your students, click on the right hand side over here or you can click on this little arrow here and we can have a look at what it looks like. So we've got our title, our pictures and our videos. Just be mindful if YouTube is blocked at your school, the videos won't work, but it should work if your students are accessing this from home or if you've unblocked uh, the specific URL for this video, which is what I've had to do in the past. Now to get those cards back, just click on cards again or this little arrow here to go back to editing. Now I don't really like the background of my sway, it's a bit boring, so I'm going to change it up. So if I click on design, I can change out my background, my font, um, there's pre-made ones here, which I'll use just to save time. And let's have a look at that one. Much better. I can also change the layout. You can have a vertically scrolling uh, sway, just like a regular website. I can have a horizontally scrolling sway so it goes across. I don't really like that one for the content I've got chosen. Uh, you can also do a sway that's more like a presentation, similar to PowerPoint, whereby I'm clicking across to go to the next piece of uh, information or next picture. But I don't really like that one either for this type of content. So I'm going to go back to my vertically scrolling sway. Uh, let's have a look at what else we've got. I can add some text in. Perhaps I want to ask my students some questions or tell them what to do with the Sway. I 
I can also hyperlink perhaps um, I've got some questions elsewhere so I could put in a link to another website or um, I've actually found a game I want to add in so I can say and play this game and copy this web address for this really cool food chains game go back to my sway highlight the text I want to link click on link and paste in that web address and press OK so now if we look at the sway we'll see the text and the students can click on the link and go to the game because I couldn't put the game straight into the sway I can also put in some audio perhaps uh, me talking um, or students talking and I can also change how my images and videos and bits and pieces are displayed so at the moment it's sort of automatic I could stack some together and let's use our two images so if I drag these up here I can stack them together perhaps I want all the images of producers stacked together or something like that let's have a look at what that looks like so you'll see here now those two images are in a stack and I'm actually having to click on them to go through them really good if you've got lots and lots of photos of a similar thing and you don't want all those photos taking up so much space but I kind of like these separate so we can see all the detail in those I can also add comparisons if I've perhaps got a before after photo a little slideshow or a grid and this is just to sort of save space so that all your images aren't uh, sort of spread out and taking up all this space in your sway so that's the basics of Sway. The next step is sharing. Clicking up the top right on share, there's a few different options for sharing here. You can keep it private so no one else can see it except for you. You can share it with everyone on the public gallery or just with friends uh, by sharing the link and you can share through Facebook or Twitter through those buttons there. There are a few other options. Uh, you can make it so that viewers can or can't duplicate this way. Uh, so if I'm a teacher and I want my students to be able to copy this way and then edit it, I need to make sure that's ticked. And if I want my viewers to be able to change the layout, uh, I'll have to have that ticked or unticked. Up to you, depends what you're doing with it. So once I've set those up, um, I'm done. And it all saves automatically to your Microsoft account. I highly recommend, if I just click on Sway up the top left here, checking out the example sways here and the different templates you can use just to see what's possible with sway as it's just so varied. That was how to create a sway. I'm Science Ninja Gal for Standout Education. If you have any questions or comments or other tutorials you'd like to see, please let us know. 